Immerse yourself in the profound insights offered by Father Chuck Belmonte as he delves into daily reflections on various gospel passages from the Bible. April 12th, Friday. We too may experience Christ's loneliness on the cross. As time goes by, people sometimes experience loneliness in their professional, social, and even interior lives, the loneliness of Christ on the cross. But if they realize that they are carriers of Christ, they are able to overcome that loneliness by seeking help from this Lord of ours who has conquered death and now reigns victorious over all things. And with his help, they too are victorious and go on to live our Christian vocation even more effectively. So don't let your mistakes get you down as long as you try to pick yourself up and start again. Christ's resurrection is a victory for us, but we must renew our inner dispositions. This is the great day which the Lord has made. This is the day of his victory. Where are the soldiers whom the authorities had commanded to guard the tomb? Where is the seal that they had placed on the stone closing the entrance to the sepulchre? Where are the men who crucified Jesus? Today it is Christ's enemies who are fleeing, for he never loses battles. Earthly things are only as important as we make them. If we are immersed in God, nothing will disturb our interior peace. When, out of weakness, we make a big deal out of these insignificant events and let them get us down, it's because we want to. If we stay close to our Lord, however, we feel secure. If we unite ourselves to Christ's cross and his glorious resurrection, there is no obstacle we cannot overcome. Of course, sometimes sufferings can last somewhat longer and our body can give out on us and fall sick, so that we have to drag it around like a tired donkey. Nevertheless, you and I have the perfect remedy for this. We have the sacraments and the other means of spiritual advice. Now is the time to make a change. Holiness means being reborn every day, starting anew every single day. Don't let your mistakes get you down as long as you have good will and begin again each time. My children, be faithful to our Lord at every moment of your life. And when you feel that you aren't being faithful, give an extra push in your struggle with a cheerful, sporting spirit, and you will be victorious. Take all your failings, all those obstacles on the road, and place them at Christ's feet so that he will be raised on high and triumph and you will triumph along with him. Don't let anything bother you. Rectify your intention. Try and try again. And in the end, if you yourself can't manage, our Lord will come and help you to leap the hurdle, the hurdle of holiness. This is the way to be renewed to conquer ourselves, getting up again every day in the certainty that we will make it to the end of the road where love awaits us. I would be delighted to extend an invitation to you once again tomorrow for another insightful reflection on the gospel by Father Belmonte.